Hello YouTube, this is Dragoli from Nights in the Never, and welcome to a little Minecraft Redstone bonus tutorial. And this is basically because I found a new way to make RSNO latches in Minecraft 1.7, which is the Minecraft Piston update. And first, here are the normal, like, memory gates. I've um, just quickly explained these. Um, basically, we have two blocks, two torches, and some redstone in between. And right now it's giving out power here. And if I click this button, this torch, I will give power to this torch turning it off, allowing this one over here to turn on, because it can't right now because it's getting power from this torch. So now that will give power here. So when this button stops giving power, this will give power in keeping this off and keeping this thing on. So it basically inverts or changes the two redstone lines here. You can make them different ways. There's a smaller one here. Works exactly the same way changing every time you click the button. There's also this one which works with repeaters. Same thing. Nothing really wild there. It's a bit slower because of the two repeaters. Oops. Because there's a little delay. You can even make it really slow if you do like this. It gets much slower, but that's just stupid. But what I want to show you is another type of memory gate that I've come up with and that I actually found out that you can use. And I came up with this after my like light switching tutorial. This is the light switches that I did a tutorial on. And I'll just quickly show you for those who haven't seen that yet. When you click this button, some glowstone comes down. We click it again, some iron comes down. And basically, this construction right here, you can use to make a memory gate. So that's what I'm going to build over here. So, first we're going to make a little, like, wall here. going to need a few things. Uh, these are unneeded. There we go. Wait, and these two. We're going to need some blocks over here. Do-do-do-do-do. There we go. And... Gonna do like this. Now we need a sticky piston up here on the top. Like, on top of this. It needs to be at the same level as this because we're gonna have redstone here. I'm just gonna place a button for future stuff. And then we're gonna put two repeaters right here. No, one repeater here, and the same thing on the other side. Now you need to connect some redstone from here, not there, but here. All the way around to there. Same thing over here. And what you're going to place right here is you're going to place, wait, here. You're going to place a piston pointing this way, like that. And you're going to place two blocks. You can use whatever you want. I can use a piece of diamond, piece of iron, like that. And this right here, this, these two are the outputs we have over here. Like, these are outputs from an RS no latch, and these, that's an input, and that's an input. Like, that's right here, as the button shows, that's an input, this is an output. So here we have the two outputs, let's just say that one there is the one over there, and that one there is the one over here. But you're saying, hey, they're off, they're both off, they are not giving out anything. Well, we can change that. Torch. Torch. You see, now they're flipped, so now we actually have some power going out over here. And now, to change them, all you need to do is just change this input right here. You just need to change it. You can, like, you can have a torch. If I do, instead of the button, I could have a torch or a lever giving continuous power and, like, flipping it on, wait a few seconds, flip it off. Works the same way as having a button. But basically, when I click this button here, it's going to give power to this piston, this sticky piston. It's going to push this down. And after a few seconds, I'm going to need a delay on these two repeaters. And, and after a few seconds, it's going to give power through here. And since there's a block right here, the power can go through this block because of the repeater. It goes through, hits the re this redstone, goes in here to this piston, and it'll activate, pushing it over here. And, for, and then this piston, well, it won't push it back, so the output changes. You can just, it's easier to just show. So if I push this button... There you go. You see now the output's changed. If I do this again. 
Mm hmm Okay, so I'm gonna have two doors over here. Just so it's easier for you guys to see. Uh, do 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 do. So let me get two doors. One there, one there. You can see now this one over here is open. If I click the button. You can see this one over here opens. Now this one opens. They both turn off for a few seconds. For like a second or so. And then they flip again. So, this is very use. This is like... It's a different type of memory gate. It's, of course, it still works by saving a output here. So this won't change unless this over here changes. Then it will just flip. But the good thing about this gate right here, it's a bit bigger than any of these. But the good thing is, you only have one input here. You don't have two inputs. You don't need, if you want to flip it, you push here, and then you need another input to go in over here. You only need the input to go to this single piece right here. If it touches this red, if any type of redstone touches this, it'll flip it. We can use like lever, flip it, flip it, it changes. And you might be wondering why I have this sticky piston up here, but that's basically to stop it from just pushing it one way and then pushing it the other way. If I just do like this, like. It'll just flip it back. But if I have this piston up here, it kind of stops it from doing that. So, that's how that works. That's why I need that there. Best way to show this is just to use the button because it changes all the time. So, that's my memory gate here. I think I'm the first one to like come up with this type of memory gate. Some have made it like this and having a block and then two pieces of glass, but still here they also need two inputs. It's a bit smaller, sure, but they still need one they still need two inputs. I only need one input for this to work. So I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to check out my Steam group. There the name is in the description. You can join that if you want to play with me, talk with me, like maybe if you have some problems with your redstone stuff. Um, some guys have spoken with me and they we've found a server maybe i've just helped them on skype i can help them build their things like if there's something they're confused about i can normally help them make it work because sometimes just some small mistake like the repeaters timing being off they're missing a torch an inverter maybe they're just like there's just one piece of redstone that's not connecting it can be something very simple but i can help you with that maybe something more advanced you need help with i can help you with that as well but you just need to join my Steam group, and then you can contact me through there, through the Steam chat, and we can come up with something. And also follow me on Twitter, and remember to tune in for my live streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9pm Danish time. And it's because I live in Denmark, it's Danish time. If you want to know when I live stream from your country, you just basically have to search for Time Converter on Google, like Online Time Converter, and you can easily find a website that can convert the time for you. You just need to choose... Um, if you Europe, Copenhagen, or just Copenhagen, since that's the Danish, like, time, place, I, I know how to say that, but thank you guys for watching, and take care.